Hey girl, hey, I'm Taylor Strecker. This is Getting Younger, a safe space to obsess about all things younger. And what a time to be a younger fan. Last week's episode was amazing. We're gonna unpack all of it in just a sec. But before we do, you know the drill. Send me your questions, your comments, and vote in our first fan poll. When Charles kissed Liza in the snow, did you scream, sob, get the chills, or all of the above? All of the above. Okay, so type your votes in the comment section below, and we'll get to that in about four minutes. But right now, I'm so excited to introduce the man of the night, Peter Herman. Hello, Peter. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. We've been bonding before the show. As we do, Peter, as we do. As we do. By the way, we had so much fun on the podcast together. I think it, uh, thank you um, for making it turn out so beautifully well. It was thank you. Super nice to be there, and so thank you. It it's, isn't it like singing in a warm cocoon? Um, those were not the words that <laughs> I would have used, but, um, but yes, now that you mentioned it, it was like singing. In, in a warm cocoon. Together. Now yeah, together. <laughs> Talking about that's younger spot lines. Podcast ca cocoon with um, to, a cocoon with microphones. <laughs> As all cocoons. As have. all cocoons yes. ought to have. Exactly. Caterpillar is a love podcasting. Yes. <laughs> okay. Also, tonight's cocktail is called the climax in what? honor of the opening scene between Liza and Charles on tonight's epic episode. And uh, that's all I have to say about that. Wink, okay. wink. Okay. So, cheers. Uh, cheers. Here we go. Cheers. I'm so excited for tonight's episode, as should everybody else. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to. It needs an umbrella. I agree. What do you think? It needs an umbrella. Oh my it. gosh. It tastes as good as I'm tonight's just gonna episode. Lie, I'm just going to lie down on the couch. <laughs> and we're Pass out, and I'm out. Wow. So, Peter, uh, what can you say about tonight's episode without giving too much away? I mean, that promo was steamy. Um, what can I say about tonight's episode? I think that. Um, uh, enjoy. Ooh. That, that's what I can say. Enjoy. About, enjoy, yeah. So we were yeah, talking yeah. before, the fans are ravenous, and, which is the greatest thing in the world, of course, but sometimes when you are uh, an uber fan, you get uber angry when things aren't going your way. And so we've been waiting five seasons for something to happen with Liza and Charles, and last week we got that epic kiss in the snow. And not the kiss with the dream, not the kiss interrupted <laughs> by George. This is the kiss he knows about Liza's secret and still he's going in for it. So this is, uh, this is leading into something even more exciting than that. Um. Yeah, I think that it's a it is a doorway into into many things, um, and uh, I think that it I think the the nice thing about it, and I think because the writing is so good on the show, I think uh, it is something that these two people um, that we like have waited for for a long time, okay. uh, and so that's a it uh, yes, so it's a it's a doorway. I think the audience is going to be quite pleased. Well, let's pause on tonight's upcoming episode for a sec and rewind to remember how we got here. Last week, it was Christmas. There was yodeling. Diana Trout was giving gifts. What? And most importantly, there was a huge turning point in Charles and Liza's relationship. Take a mm. look. I don't care anymore. Finally. Peter, I don't even have a question. Can you just hold my hand? Because I'm feeling very emotional. Ready? Ready? Okay. You. okay. No, I'm not okay. okay. Oh, I have all the feels. But better now. <laughs> better now. Better now. Better now. Thank better you. Now. Thank you. Okay. So a pivotal moment. Waiting five seasons. Five yeah. seasons for this. Have you seen any of the fan reactions? And if so, what were they? I think that um, it, it, to be on this show and to have uh, the reactions that we got to this. Uh, was so fantastic to, to, to actually, you know, put, we put this show out into the world yep. and to have that level of, 
I'll, I'll just call it enthusiasm. Um, <laughs> I think uh, Emerson said, the world belongs to the enthusiastic. Um, the, the, no, the world belongs to the energetic. And I think that, so, the world belongs to you all, you know? And yep. so I will, I, it's, it's, such a, it's such an incredible place to be for all of us on the show, mm -hmm. to have that kind of reaction and that kind of support about what we do. And um, you're like, see, told you, just wait, it's uh, coming. Yeah, there's a lot coming. Yeah. There's, a, there, there's a lot coming, and I think that, and I think it's interesting because when you, um, and I, I, I said this, uh, we did a panel the other night, and I think that, um, you know, when someone uh, transgresses, when someone does, when someone lies to you, if someone does something wrong yes. to you, that's all you see for a long time, True. and that makes it very easy sometimes because all you see is what they did to you. It's sort of convenient. It's all black and white. You're wrong. I'm right. Yep. Um, and I think the the beauty of that last episode is that Liza took on dimension again for him. Um, and, uh, and she became, and he understood, Charles understood so much. I just think I'm, I, I, there, I've never talked about this show without talking about the writing. Um, and I thought that it was so elegantly written, the way that they found over five seasons and especially these last couple of steps, the way they found their way to each other. And I'm kvetching all over again. All over again, and now I'm also sweating. But that could Did be you Liza. say kvetch kvetching all over again? Kvetching. Kvelling. Kvelling? Come on. Oh my on. Yiddish. I'm, I, it's, you it's gotta rusty. get your, don't kve <laughs> not kvetching. What's kvetching? Kvetching, complaining. Well, I could do that too. Isn't that kvetching? <laughs> no, kvetching, yeah, kvetching. Oh, I stop, was kvetching. Stop kvetching. Now I'm kvelling. Kvelling. There you go. <laughs> okay. Boy. Well, you know what that sound means? It means your poles Liza. are in. So when Charles kissed, or Charles kissed Liza in the snow, what did you do? And an overwhelming percent of you said all of the above. Scream, sob, chills, in that order, I agree. Is that what you did on set too afterwards? Well, 60, 60, 61 percent, God. Yeah, all of the above. You got a little pole. It kind of went like this. Ah, ah, ah. With all of which I saw in, in emojis on the screen, because I'm actually, learning, right? how, I'm actually right? learning how to read emojis, which is a big thing for Did me. Did you so. see a lot of these? No, there was, the, there, were, there was that, and then there was the thing with the, the, the Oh, this, the cry emojis? The, the, this and the, yeah, a whole bunch of, and then there, it's people throw in the. Um, Poop? Uh, people, <laughs> what was that? People throw in the, 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 the flamenco dancer. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm like why, why is, is, what is It's that? like, celebrate, live. Okay, got it, thank you. See, <laughs> That's now my I know interpretation, I could be wrong. More. Okay, guys, it's time for another poll. Uh, as most of you know, Charles has been dubbed Bitchy Charles this season. Wow. Sorry, Peter, that was our fault. So, right. it's time for you to get a nickname upgrade, okay? So let's vote right here, right now. Charming Charlie, or about time Charles. Cast your vote by typing it in the comment section below and we'll get to that in about five minutes and keep those questions and comments coming too because it's time for fan questions. Okay, we're gonna get to your fan questions right now. I also am a fan, which means I also have fan questions prepared, but I'm gonna let you guys first. So these are all yours is what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, they're all mine. <laughs> they're, all yours. they're literally all mine. You're, no, we You were just have... pretend they're, you're there from other people. Exactly. Let's go. I, I okay, wrote okay, them okay, all okay, today okay, okay, in my little diary. Okay, fantastic. And then I gave it to the producers. Dear and they were diary. like, why do you, <laughs> why are you drawing your monogram with Peters? Peter. Okay, so weird. no, these are for real and they've been coming in all day. Okay. Fantastic. So Stephanie S. says, Peter, you've had guest spots on Law & Order SVU. Yes. Would Mariska be down to guest star on Younger and is she a fan of the show? The first and most important thing, I feel like I'm correcting you all night. Mariska. Oh, Jesus. Mariska. Like, I'm, I'm getting an F. Like Mariska. Mariska, because it's like, because it's Hungarian, so it's like Budapest. It's not Budapest, it's Budapest. Mariska. It's spelled- It's like Barcelona. It's, it's like Barcelona. Or Ibiza. Exactly. I got it. Um, but, it but it's spelled with an S. Marish but it's with an S. Mariska. Mariska. Mariska, exactly. Fantastic. I did it. So, I did there it. you go. And you know what? The, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of hers. So there you go. And here I've been saying her name wrong. She can call me Tyler for the rest of my life. It's fantastic. It's all good. It's a good thing. Well, there we go, exactly. So you're even. I'll it's answer good. to Tyler. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so uh, is she, would she be down to, to guest star on, I, I want, I, I'm, I really, I, I sort of loosely pitch this idea of, I really want her to be an author. I really, really, really want her to come on as a, as, as, as a, as a writer I love on the it. show. And I think she should be from the Balkans. The Balkans? She, yeah, she does this great accent. And she, she does um, the, any, any accent in the, in the accent encyclopedia 
she will do and have you in stitches on the floor. I want her to be a writer from the Balkans. And what would her book be about? Would um, it be like I, a self-help? Would it be a fictional book? A self-help book from the Balkans is fantastic. So that's, <laughs> that's just, yeah, okay. I'm trying pitching that. Um, I I, so so I, uh, I will simply say it's not a question of if, but when, and I can't wait. It'll be family day for me. I'm um, so excited. Yeah. I'm so excited. Okay, let's go to another fan question. Amy S. Hi, Peter. Who would you pick to play Carl in the Marriage Vacation movie? Hashtag Team Charles, FYI. Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen? <laughs> Off the top of my head. I mean, head. love Seth, but. Um, uh, Seth Rogen, um, Wallace Shawn. Um, I, God, I, um, I don't. Peter Herman. <laughs> Peter Herman. Um, I, my God, what a question. I don't know. I, I always feel so terrible when I don't have good answers. Um, I, I, am, I, have, I have nothing. Well, b because here's the problem with that question, okay. right? If I answer s with some like superstar, then I, then I, then, 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 wh what was the person that, Amanda? No, Amanda asking the question? Oh God. Because uh, it was Stephanie and then. Stephanie. It was, Ste no, Stephanie was the first one. It was Annie. Peter, why are you why are you giving me an essay? No, 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 right no now? But, but but then but then the person asking the questions could be like, oh, he thinks he's all that. Because he what? Annie? Annie, because Annie's gonna think like, oh, he thinks Annie. he's all that because <laughs> because so and so should play him. And so I so I go the other way and I say, um, and and I and I yeah, I think it should it should be like the guy who I, I don't it's, yeah, I, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go like the that which will make Annie think I'm. Uh, I think that all the superstars should play me. I say so, Richard Gere. She said it. I didn't. <laughs> she said it. I didn't. Wow, Richard. Wow, that's. Um, I think he and I are. Is he? Are he? Are he and I? Is he and I? Are he and I? Are he and I the same age? I think or, he's a little older than you. Older? Yeah, I'm gonna say that. Maybe so. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Yeah. You're very welcome. I'm just gonna sit here and be sad now. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Wow, that was a complicated question. Let's get, we have more to I always, I always think that they're so Peter, simple for other people. Peter, and we've only just begun. <laughs> okay, so Jean H says, Peter, Jean. what's the best thing about working with Sutton Foster? Jean, I'll remember for you. Um, her optimism oh. as a person. She's just, uh, she is a, I mean, there is, there's a, uh, she is, preposterously talented, as we all know, yes. right? But it's, um, uh, she, and she dictates a, a very uh, uh, optimistic, positive mood on our set. And to be around that, oh. to have somebody like that at number one on the call sheet, it, you just, um, it's, it's a real privilege, it's a real home run. I think that's why the SVU set is the way that it is, because. Mariska dictates a tone there that is uh, incredibly um, professional and dedicated, and you are just expected to show up and swing for the fences. It's contagious. Um, it's contagious, exactly, and that's what that's um, what we have in Sutton as well. Well, it shows on the show because Younger is just oh, it is goals. Okay, let's go to another fan question. Emily B. Hi, Peter. What is Hi, your Emily. favorite part about playing Charles? Huh. It's like simple yet so loaded. Yes, and I'll <laughs> go and I'll go like the the long way around all the detours. My favorite thing about uh, one of the things that I love the best about him is that he loves books. I know you love that. I I just and and the fact that that I get to play somebody who uh, lives and and lives in the world of books is I just I can't begin to tell you how happy it makes me. Um, and, and I think that he, he is fundamentally a, a, a decent man. Yes. Um, and I, and that is a, uh, and that is a, a nice thing to explore and to be rooted in and to get to come back to. Yeah. That that you, that he is somebody I like. What he is guided by. He's one of the good ones. Do you feel like there's a, a lot of you in him? I, I do. 
I mean, we are we know each other oh so well. We, yes, <laughs> years. Do yes. you remember the? No. Um, the, uh, for the um, I I think we we love we both love books. Um, and you're both and really I, good guys. And that's an absolutely lovely thing to say. And you said it just like I asked you to say it. So yeah. it was so nice. Yeah. You, said you know it, my address, right? Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Well, you the can flower or something. Too. Okay. <laughs> absolutely. No, I take straight up cash money, honey. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get the flower. I don't want flowers. Liza. Want money. <laughs> oh, that noise. Oh, just so you know. Well, what Peter, is that? That's like. That is, <laughs> that is Diana. Yes, Liza. Liza. Super, it's super stressful. And it, it's no kidding. I'm here every week, and it means the poll results are in. Oh, okay. 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 So. Your poll results are in. Uh, what should Charles' new nickname be? And the majority of you said, about time, Charles. Ugh, about shade. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. like, uh, it's about time, Charles. Like, okay. they're a little annoyed. <laughs> yeah, a little, little bit of How do you feel there. about that? I, I, I hear the tone in the about time, but that could, I hear be, it a too. Posit that could be a positive thing. Oh, like, it's about time. Yes. You go, radio. No. No. <laughs> no, it's like, <sighs> Yeah, it's a little bit it's of that. It's about time. Yep, a little bit more of that. Okay. <laughs> All right. okay. Well, guess what? It is about time, yep. and we're going to get it tonight. Ooh, ooh, okay. It's time for another poll. If you were writing a younger script, okay, which was like an alternative dimension storyline. Who is this? I like this. What would already. you like to see? Okay, this is this is an us thing. This is from our producers' brains. Okay, wow. Okay. okay, okay, okay. This is the poll. Would you rather see Liza and Charles run away to travel the country and make a living selling crocheted scarves out of their RV? Charles and Liza having four more kids and starting a family singing group and fleeing from war-torn Austria. Charles uh, loses all his money and has to start over and pretend to be uh, younger as an editorial assistant at GQ. Or Charles decides to turn empirical books into empirical private eyes and he and Liza fight literary crimes. Whew, start voting by typing your answers wow. in the comment section below. What would you pick? Um, the, um, they're all odd. <laughs> they're, they're, all, they're all fantastic. Um, and they've all been discussed in the writer's room. Um, they, uh, For real? <laughs> I'm so gullible. Come on. I'll bend Come you. on. <laughs> um, the, uh, the, uh, I, uh, we're, watching, we're watching these tabulate. My God. Um, it's crazy, right? That's really something. Uh, the the uh, I think that because I, I I and my lack of singing talent ought to be inflicted on this country in some way, I think that it might have to be the singing group. Oh, okay, yeah. well that's that's Peter's choice. You guys keep voting but not, right but, now. But, but, but and 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 amazingly, our writers always come up with better things that than we could ever dream up. So, I wonder if there's a fifth option. Maybe. I'll think, I'll think about that. Maybe fill in the blank. I kind of like that. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. so while everyone's voting, yes. because that's a toughie, are you ready for a game? Always. Oh, yeah. He says nervously. Let's play for Pete's sake, which really has nothing to do with the game. It's just like a really cute name, we thought. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna read a fact. You know what's terrible? What? Since I, it's fantastic to interrupt you. Please. Is when say. Especially when I'm reading. Yeah, exactly. When you're <laughs> reading, it's great. I know that's super helpful. Um, is when someone is like, yeah, you know, it was great, but then it kind of just like petered out. And I was like, what is it when your that's, name is synonymous name. with like waning excitement? Um, <laughs> it's. Okay, Tattle sorry. Taylor, like I don't know it. Tattle Taylor, okay, great. Like Fantastic. I wasn't tortured you're, on the playground. You're, you're there with me. People were pants at me, calling me Tattle Taylor. Um, yeah, you put my pants down, I'm gonna Tattle Taylor on you. Wow. <laughs> you know we'll what? be right back. <laughs> Let's oh, not go back there. To talk about. Let's go back to okay, the game. Okay, okay. Okay, so Keep reading. I'm sorry. going to read a fact, and the audience, well, it could be fact or fiction, okay? Mm. So the audience, you have to vote, and you can vote by, of course, typing your answer in the comment sections below. You and I will be like playing, I guess, kind of with slash against each other, but Peter, he has all the answers. It's his life, it's his truth. Okay, so here we go. First one. I have five names, including my last name. Don't give anything away, okay? Does Peter Herman have five names, including my last name? Peter, you feel like a five-namer, er. <laughs> I, I don't know whether to take that as a compliment or whether that's shade. To me, that is a compliment. I am from Thank New you. England. Okay, okay. I love Nantucket, okay. and it. I okay. believe in seersucker shorts with lobsters embroidered on them. Well, we have to talk about that after <laughs> the show. That's something we're talking about. I'm from New England. You're from New okay. England. Okay. Yes, Boston. No okay, so I'm gonna say it is a fact, and the audience also says fact as well. Peter, is that a fact? 
So it's, and the fact was five, five names total. Including your last name. Fact. Oh! First you... name hyphenated. So yes, fact. Tell, share. No. Why? No, 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 no. Is, wait, is Maximilian. Oh my God. <laughs> is that in Max there? the emperor. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, no. Um, uh, no, Maximilian is, 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 is absolutely. Well, then not I don't want to hear the rest of it. Yes, you don't want to hear the rest of it. Yes, <laughs> Wait, right. is there like a like a third in there or like a fifth or an eighth? No, I think first and for everybody's sake, the only. So, <laughs> just, which I think everyone just wants enough. You're, did you have to actually use that name during school? All fi all five names? No, and there are never enough spaces. No. When you have to, I'm like I'm like falling off the. Precipice at the edge of the page. I got oh. a passport application. Oh God! Horrible. Horrible. Your I mean, parents. I know. My God. It's. What are they doing to you? Hard. They were challenging you. They knew you were of a heightened intelligence and you could handle it. Yeah, that must have been. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so <laughs> next, uh, fact or fiction? I grew up in Austria. You guys, vote right now. Fact or fiction? Okay. So last year on Getting Younger. Yes. I spoke German to you. Stille Nacht, Heilige Nacht, which is Silent Night, Holy Night. I'm really. I probably said it wicked wrong, right? I'm no, it was beautiful, and oh. I'm, ho I'm homesick. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. So I know that you speak German. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you to not grow up here, but I'm going to guess that actually maybe you could have grown up elsewhere. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say fact. I'm going to say fact. An audience, okay, the audience says fiction. So did you grow up in Austria? No. Ah! No, Germany. Oh, Born here. Same thing. <laughs> that's a, that's a, <laughs> wow, wow. Peter, you know who you're dealing with here. Wow, that's a, that's, a, oh, that, that goes in the file of things to talk about later with the ear sucker short. <laughs> oh, I'm sure, and the fact that you're like in the wrong, no, um, the wrong century. Um, the, um, the, uh, so no, but I was, I was born here and then grew up in Germany. So you grew up in Germany for how long? 10 years. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. I came here when I was, so I, I was uh, born here, uh, here for two months, and then grew up in Germany, and then moved, moved here to the States again when I was 10. Wow, what's better? Oh, wow, what a question. Um, I know, sorry. Uh, the, huh, um, you know, that, 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 that there's the, you know, it's, uh, the reaction, like, my God, how can, how can you not say that the States is better? Yeah. And there, there are, there are, there are in, an infinity of things that are that are d d deeply American and deeply wonderful about this country. Yes. That are in the soil here. There are things. There there is an infinity of things. Uh, there are also things that are deeply problematic here. Um, Very there, fair. Um, there is there are also deeply beautiful things about Germany and obviously um, deeply. Yep. Uh, pro problematic things current um, and certainly past, past um, in Germany. So that's a, that I, I now I'm, and as I say this, as my mouth moves, I'm like, wow, Peter, you took that question way too seriously. <laughs> um, but that's me. Trick so, question, gotcha. Yeah, there it is. No, I'm just kidding. No, you answered perfectly. I like that. So same. Okay, so uh, I learned English by watching The Muppet Show. Fact or fiction? Vote, vote, vote. I'm going to say fiction because that show is amazing, but cray cray. And half the, pu half the Muppets barely even speak English. I don't think oh. that's really the show to learn English. Obviously, it's Barney. Wow, <laughs> which didn't exist then. So which didn't exist then. Audience is saying fact. So fact, I'm saying fiction. Peter, what do you think? Among the many things that taught me English, Muppet, the Muppet Show was one of them. So, yes. What? Primarily. <laughs> Primarily, though, I mean, not that a whole lot of things were said, but I remember that when I actually first started piecing the language together was with the help of Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse? Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Here come Mighty Mouse to save the day. That's adorable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. God, audience is three, 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 three for three, and I am zero for zero? No, 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 no. You got one. You I got, did? You got one, which okay. got erased because Austria and Germany are the same thing. <laughs> I so canceled that one out. But the... the um, Wait, I was just going to say something else about Mighty Mouse. Um, Muppet Peter? Muppet Show. Uh, Mighty Mouse. Uh, no, I can't remember. What about Sesame Street? 
No, I, and, I, and I don't know why. That's so crazy. Yeah, I know. And look how I turned it's out. Like the, I should, I it's like, it's like the Harvard straight. of children's cartoon <laughs> learning. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> like, I, didn't I didn't get in. I didn't get in. I tried. And they, oh, me and neither. They said, yeah. McGill rejected me twice. Uh, you know, okay, you guys. So my first role was as a villain on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Fact or fiction? Ooh, what do you guys think? Fact or fiction? Okay, so my little sister Paige, obsessed with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Wow. So I'm gonna say fiction, because I don't, my memory's clearly bad, and I don't know a lot of things, but I don't remember you on it. My sister wanted to change her name from Paige to Kimberly the Pink Power Ranger. The entire, that was her, so that's I said. As long, that's as long as my name. So I said, Fantastic. I will trade you I'll be Paige if you want to be Kimberly the Pink Power Ranger. Wow. So she stuck with Paige because nice. she was an obstinate four-year-old. Wait, so who, <laughs> who, who traded what for? You said that you would trade with her. I said, you want to change your name to Kimberly the Pink Power Ranger? Like, right. that's your name? Strecker? That's going to be your full name? <laughs> Strecker. Strecker. <laughs> I said, I will become it's funny. Paige Strecker. My name will go from Taylor Strecker to Paige Strecker. Paige Strecker. So, nice. she, was, so she wanted it because she always know. wanted everything that I had. <laughs> but you're not angry. No, no, it's no, like you're I'm totally, totally over it. Totally it's like you're not it. hanging on to that at all. Okay, so the audience said that it was what? Fiction. Okay, so is it fiction? It's it is it is fiction for me, fact for my wife. No. Fact for my wife. I, I don't know if it was her first job, Mershka's first job, but okay. she was. This is, she was a, a a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, and she looked. And she could not have looked more spectacular in the costume. <laughs> she was incredible. No. Yes. It, yes. Yes. It, it was a green costume, and she got fired. Why? She got fired because she left. Well. Because she went to she went to go shoot, and then they they weren't using her. They they you know, kept delaying her scene. Which does happen. Which on sets. happens, and she was like, "Well, they're not getting to me, so I'm going to leave." Stop. That's boss. And they right called, there. and they were like, "Where are you?" And Wait, how they say it? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> and. <laughs> she was like, what do you mean, where am I? I've been waiting for two weeks. And they were like, you're out. I've been waiting for two and weeks. That's, and that is Mariska. Wow. Which is fantastic. She was like, listen, either use me or I'm out. You're like, I'm out. She knew so, all about self-worth and self-respect. Totally. And I think it worked out okay for I her. I think it worked I out think perfectly it worked out pretty fine well. for yeah, her. It worked out pretty well. Okay, last question. I had an article published in Vanity Fair. Fact or fiction? I'm going with fact on this one because... Thank you for the vote of confidence. You're smart. Vanity Fair is an intelligent magazine, and it makes sense to me. What does the audience say? There's 100% fact. 100% fact. So, Peter? Wow. Fact or fiction? Well, thank you all, audience. Um, fact. Uh, but however, however, article is saying too much. It was in the vanity section. And it oh, was about Peter. That counts. And it's again. But it was, it was in the vanity section, and it was about Douglas Carter Bean's drama department, the beautiful uh, theater company that he had. Um, but yes, so I had a piece published in, in, in Vanity Fair. I was a fact checker there. That's and the, so cool. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. Very I cool. love that. Yeah. Well, I congratulations. Love. That's the game. The audience got every single, every single one thing correct. Right. And Taylor Strecker, not so much. Not so much. <laughs> we still have to talk about the Tear Sucker shorts. Liza. Well, we can't because saved by the Liza. Okay, so your poll results are in. If you were writing a younger script, which alternate uh, dimension storyline would you like to see? Majority said, yeah, baby, yeah. GQ, how do you like Dem Apple? That's a, th I, think, I think that's actually a, f I, th I would need to shave. Yes. First of all. Yes. Um, I was about to ask a horrible question. Like, how, 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 I was about to ask the horrible, we don't answer. Do it. But I was thinking, like, how young would people actually believe? Actually, when we were rehearsing this, I actually had the same question. Because I was like, I don't know, like, I think you could probably, without the beard, play. 60. <laughs> I was going to say, like, 85. <laughs> no, it's like, nice 30s. Here with you. 30s, mid 30s. Okay. Everyone, you're looking at everybody, like everybody nod 30. and be nice. Uh, no, I yeah, think so. Yeah, thirties, sure. But wouldn't that okay. be great karma? I absolutely. I think that's a. I think that's not bad at all. 
Yeah. And I'm going to go into the writer's room and pretend that like that was my idea. I like that. I like that. I also like fan questions. Let's get to some more. Okay, okay. fantastic. So Sandy Z says, uh, what's going to happen when Diana finds out about Charles and Liza? Woo-hoo, I'm going to let you answer that one. I think she's going to flip. Um, oh, what a great question. I thought it was going to be what, what's going to happen when Diana finds out about uh, Liza's age. Yeah, I think um, she's going to actually be excited about that. Uh, I don't know. She I loves herself some Charles. Yeah, yeah. She, oh, but, yes. But, but I think that I think that uh, uh, I love the way that that Diana and I and I and I you know I love the way that Diana metabolizes things on the show. You know, yep. just whether it's you just new information and the way that it goes through her the mill of her beautiful person that knows things and has seen things and. Um, and I think that that is such a, such a beautiful, it's so beautiful how Miriam, how you watch, how, how she makes Diana's wheels turn. Yep. Uh, I don't quite know what kind of springs will pop out of her head when she finds out about Um, All this. of them? Yeah, all, all of, all all of, all of all them. All of them. Exactly. <laughs> her exactly. brain might just explode. Yes. But we also might find out that she, she knows so much more than we... She's very intuitive. Than, yeah, yeah, than we think she knows. Right. So, you know. Well, time will tell, because that's definitely going to be happening yeah, yeah. at some point. Let's go now to Laura uh, F. What's your favorite episode this season? I, I actually think, the so far, the last one. Oh, uh, 507. The, the, the Christmas episode. Yep. For, for a number of reasons. Again, uh, I, I, I will never stop talking about our writers. I think it was so, uh, uh, so elegantly written. Um, the writer's name is Grant Schloss, and, and he is he is fantastic. And I think that you have you had him here, Grant. Um, we yeah, last year we had him on the show, and we had him on the podcast. Um, and he, uh, I th I th and I think that because we we as a cast all like each other so much, and I think that the it was funny because it was a Christmas episode, and so all of a sudden it was what was it April, and it was we were all in the Christmas spirit, and and we. And it's a it's a it's a cast that, like I said, that we all like each other. And it's also the characters also obviously have deep feelings for each other. And so the holiday season lowers those barriers, and yes. you have and gives them license to put those feelings on display more. And so I thought that I thought the way that the episode was constructed. Uh, with that season was just very, very elegant. And I really like the way the scene played at the coffee station. After, oh, after... So good. It was it, like, I got you, kid. I, 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 the, when, when, after Charles had seen Liza sing and saw her, mm -hmm. um, and then there, and they uh, connected about... Not connected, such a mm, word. But they... Um, and, and he... And in a sense, during that process, sees her transform before his eyes. And from a that, girl to a woman. Um, to a mother. From a, from somebody who had, from somebody who had wronged him mm -hmm. deeply. Yes. Uh, to a dimensional human being who is not just the thing she did to him. And, and to him, the thing that she, for many complex reasons, did had to do, and she, like I said, takes on dimension again for him. And I thought that was a, uh, I thought the writing and what that gave us to do was just really, it's fun, really fun to play. Love it. Okay, another question from Ashley O. Peter, when do you think Charles fell in love with Liza? <gasps> Great mm. question. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Ooh. Um, you know, I think that, um, it's funny, I. I, th I think that those, uh, I think that we as a, as a, we as a society, here I go again with my like. That's my favorite phrase. We as a society, society, today. Um, society <laughs> today, here. <laughs> but um, I think that, I think that we're always interested in the moment. Yes. Right, in the moment, like where, where, where we turn around, where we turn a corner. Um, and, uh, and I think that, and I, th I think that uh, for I think Charles has been has been falling for for a long time, 
Interesting. You know, has, yeah, I think that I think that he's been. I think that he. Um, I, I, I like I like that I like the first scene between between them when they in the office uh, way 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 back in in season one where she makes a comment about a book, and he goes. Yep. Oh. Hello, you. Hello, you. Um, and I think that it's been a a steady cascade uh, since then. And I like that's such a big picture on falling in love. You know, there isn't a moment. That's like, yeah. that's, that's fairy tale stuff. Yeah, yeah. This is like, re like real life stuff. And, it and takes time, it builds. Yeah, and I, you know, and I, I know that, um, and people have asked me about that, like about Mershka and I, how did, I, and we're so, we're so enamored of, of the, you know, how did you meet? Yes. How did you, and I, and, and it's, it, and when we met, um, we knew, that that we had uh, that we had uh, a long time bef before us to work out this. I love that. It stretched, I it stretched, love that. In the moment, it stretched out before us. Yeah. You know? Moral of the story is give it time. Give it time. And also, yeah. waiting is sexy. Yeah. Yes, that is. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's go to Andrea M. Peter, what do you enjoy doing other than acting? Huh. Um, you can't say reading. <laughs> yeah, um, huh. Okay, don't listen. Reading. Um, <laughs> I knew you were but, just um, say that. I, I do. God. Um, and I like I like photographing. Um, I. Um, I like making stuff. What kind of stuff? Stuff. Come on. Um, pillow forts. <laughs> pillow forts. Ceramics. Yeah. Crocheted Cer scarves. Ceramics. <laughs> ceramics. Not, ceramics, not so much. Pillow forts are fantastic. They're the best. Um, and uh, and I really, I, I, you know, I I uh, I really like to go. I really like to travel. I know. I I God, it's great and to see uh, there's a there's a there's a you know winston churchill said uh he knows not england who only england knows right so okay. so you actually get to know your own country i know america better when i when i leave and look back um i i i it is it is beautiful to go it's just beautiful to go and to um yeah so and and whether the weather travel is is grand and on on a on an enormous scale or not, mm -hmm. um, to to go and to see and to uh, and to learn. That's a and you know and and acting is learning too. But I I, I really like um, I like learning new stuff. Uh, I think that my, my there's something in my brain that's like oh cool that it 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 uh, it's fun to 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 really feel all of this sort of kick awake and get super curious and hungry and and uh, yeah does uh, and and get fed. I love it. Okay, we have time for one more fan question. Then they're all uh, yours anyway. But I love the names that you're coming up with. The fake that you're that they're all. All yours. the fake names. Yeah, all the fake names. It's fantastic. <laughs> is this one, is this but I'm on China. To China B. Uh, what are the qualities between Charles and Liza that you think makes them work? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> um, I think that they're. I think that they have both lived uh, a good bit. Uh huh. And so I think that they take a longer view of things, um, and I think that they're both people uh, whose whose priorities aren't frivolous. Um, could I make it sound more boring? <laughs> I think their priorities aren't frivolous. Um, but no, but I mean. I uh, and I think that um, they are. I think that they're both that they're both curious, uh, and I do think. Um, Guess yeah, what? 
We're out of time. We're out of time. We're out of time. <laughs> See, I was just trying to pause long enough so that we were out of time because I couldn't come up with something well, else. We're going to find out a lot more about the two of them in tonight's episode. Peter, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Thank you. I really like being here. So thank you. Fun to hang out with you. Really. So fun to hang out with Great. you. And thank you to the fans for watching the show, you guys. We love you so much. So much. Um, we're going to be na uh, back next week with Molly Bernard. She can't get enough. She's coming back. Fantastic. And in the meantime, be sure to check out our podcast, Younger Uncovered, every Wednesday. And we're leaving you now with some hilarious bloopers from tonight's episode. You guys enjoy tonight's episode. It's the best. Bye. 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 Look at Bye. that awesome clapper. 35. Look how one. nice it is. Hey. A man who grows a beard. A man who grows. What is it? A man who grows a beard. A man who grows a beard. <laughs> Kelsey, I read the uh, Jake Devereaux chapters. They're excellent. <laughs> Sorry. I love you. Love you. Hi. How are you? Hey. You good? Hey, yeah. So am I. You got a beard. Um, beard. Beard. <laughs> beard. Oh, look who's back. Oh, Happy New Year. Right. Okay, so that went well. <laughs> Kelsey, I read the uh, mother Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so I guess that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I can't do that. I look silly. Do what you guys do. Do, <laughs> do that. Not silly. I don't care at all. Doesn't that feel so great? <laughs> Okay. Stop. <laughs> Don't laugh, Peter. You're going to pop off your beard. Lauren, she's throwing a dinner party. A dinner party. <laughs> Can we stay in our, in our bubble <laughs> just for tonight? I, my beard just went up my nose. Your beard went up your my nose? My beard. Hold on. Oh, no. I had to have one Oh, cute. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> you need another shoulder cry or something? Oh, wait. We, <laughs> we, which side? Which side? I'll come here. Hi. Huh? Oh. 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 Yes, you can do it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Subscribe to Younger Uncovered. The podcast dedicated to all things younger.